Hey there YouTube, this is Inked Up 75 doing another review. Actually, it's a follow-up review on the Black Rhino Concealment Holster. I want to go ahead and show you that I have the mag out, extra bullet right here, and the gun is clear. So that's clear and out of the way. I want to go ahead and show you the holster up close. This is a year old. The great guys at Black Rhino Concealment sent me this in the mail. It was $59.99 shipped. That included a trigger guard holster as well that's not in the video. Basically just has a rope attached to a little Kydex trigger guard holster. After a year, this thing looks almost brand new. It's still shiny. All the edges are still great shape still look like they're polished no scratching retainment is great one thing I did notice that right there the grommet paint wore off no biggie I guess if I wanted to complain I probably would uh, call them up and say hey can you fix it for me and they probably would but since uh, it's so anal I'm not going to bother calling them I do want to say that the pistol itself, the LMP Shield 40, from being in the holster, that's just oil right there. Gun oil. The pistol itself has no scratching whatsoever on it. That's one thing that I was searching for out of a holster was I didn't want it to be all marked up. And it served us it served its purpose um, this has the Mel Knight finish on it so that might be the reason why one thing I noticed I had a Glock 42 in the same holster oh, a different holster but for the Glock 42 that I bought from Black Rhino I did notice however that the finish on the Glock actually had a couple scratches on it um, from the holster I believe I buffed it out with a silicone rag and it scratches buffed almost right out I do want to add to that the inside of my holster I make sure that it is always clean and I put a little bit of oil in there rub it around just to make sure that uh, it's slick <clears throat> this holster there is no screw for retention it's basically like an auto fit one tension for all and it seems to work pretty good I'm going to holster the pistol put this down for a second here's your kydex click and how smooth it is I just want to show Pull it right from the rivet and shake it. Did not come out whatsoever. You can feel it move just a little bit like it possibly could, but I mean, you're not going to be upside down having somebody shake you by your shoes trying to get your gun to drop out. So. It serves its purpose, and as far as pulling it out, you can't really get it out. Um, I do want to add that in that holster, you actually can still get your uh, mag release button to release it. I don't know if that's a good idea if that's good or bad I mean I guess it could be bad because you could be going to pull it out and accidentally hit it and somehow drop the mag I don't know that's really was has never been one of my issues but could be somebody's issue in the future so once again outside looks great this is a year old just 
still shiny. One little flaw to ground it. That's it. This thing also has a great channel in there. Makes room for the sights. I mean, seriously. It's. Look at that. Never even touches the sight. I like this holster. This company, Black Rhino Concealment, they're veteran owned and operated. They, um,. Make them very quickly. I got mine in three days, custom made. Well, for the MP Shield. Um, great holster. Out of a one out of ten, I'd give it a nine point five. Uh, there's a couple things that they probably could have done, as far as doing the adjustable retention. Like I said, there's a way on here to heat it up, and you can like reform it and stuff like that there's ways to do it which I'm sure that it, once it starts getting loose I can just take it down there and say hey you know can you guys readjust this for me and get it to where it's new again but honestly after reholstering holstering over a hundred times and this thing still and I'm not like holding it in at all It almost popped right there. But I mean seriously. Any other holster it would have came out. I had a couple alien gears before. They're nice. I mean for the price they're great. Everybody swears by them because they're 30 like 39 bucks. But uh, to be brutally honest I mean I ordered two when they first came out. It took about a month to get I got it the first time, time that they uh, sent me the first one because I had two different pistols. The first one I got the shell that the gun didn't fit right in the shell. I didn't figure out for a couple minutes that it was for a different gun. I called them up. They, they fixed the problem. I had a new shell right away and had no weight on that. Got it within a couple days. I rocked them for a little while. One thing I did notice about those is they take up too much real estate in your waistband. And for in a waistband hold it, holster, this one takes up no room. It's almost just the size of the gun. And I have been carrying this on my motorcycle. Um, I wanted something. I was actually going to possibly go with the, uh, the Black Hawk Serpa just because it has that locking mechanism which I think that's kinda good and bad too to have a locking mechanism because what happens if the locking mechanism breaks and it stays in the holster that could pose a problem but I will tell you this I had this holster on my motorcycle numerous times now and has not come out once I was so afraid for the first couple times that hey oh crap it's gonna fall out and I'm not gonna find it some someone's gonna find my gun on the roadway but I will tell you this I had it at the three o'clock four o'clock position on my back didn't even know what was there once again black rhino concealment holster one year still looks almost brand spanking new totally 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 great product once again, this is inked up 75. Catch you on the flip side.